guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new renovation vlog this whole series of moving vlogs renovation vlogs is just so exciting for me possibly my favorite videos ever to film and edit and it's been nice to look back and see the progress that we've made so far still obviously got a lot to do but I, I feel like it's all coming together on the top two floors which is like the kind of phase one stage to our renovation so if you did miss any of the previous renovation vlogs I will leave them linked below and if you are excited for this renovation vlog give it a thumbs up subscribe for more and let's get into the video we have made significant changes with inside for plastering and kind of finishing touches ready to be painted and decorated we've had the garden emptied and retaped and everything so that is now a nice little outdoor space that we have still a couple of bits that i want to do in the garden but um overall it's looking good and i've also had a bit of a clear out as well within this week last couple of weeks really so all of which I've obviously documented but before I jump into showing you the progress that we have made since the last renovation vlog I do have a sponsor for today's video so Eufy is a brand that I've worked with before part of Anchor Technologies really reputable brand really great quality products we've been looking at getting some security cameras set up we actually had a look at when we were rewiring all of upstairs to maybe have some kind of internal camera system However, Eufy do do some products like this one here that I have to share with you today, which are standalone. So it's so easy to install. There's no wiring needed. It's wire free, connects via your phone as well so that you can see all the footage, not only live, but also the recording history as well. It does save at least two months worth of footage. And with this, what I love is that there's no hidden fees. There's no monthly charge for usage. So this is the Solo Cam E40 it is brand new to the market it's battery operated hence the wire free and it is a 120 day battery life that you have on this you can also set up different methods of the way that you want to interact with this camera so if you want certain notifications to pop up if something happens they have a really advanced ai human detection technology within this camera as well so it's really good for picking up like sensory um like motion sensor but on just human faces as well if you want that set up there is a two-way audio with it as well you've got the activity zones option which you can reduce to eliminate any kind of false notifications so it's a really good all-rounder does have detailed night vision and it is weatherproof as well which obviously we need in this country seems that we do get quite a bit of rain and i'm thinking of putting this one on the back of our house um just because we do have access around the back but also um i'm thinking of getting the version with the floodlights on for the front of the house and then of course they've got the other options of internal cameras they've got the baby monitor smart locks uh, doorbells so they've got such a big range of the security products themselves that um, this is just one to many that I think that we're going to be purchasing so I do actually have a discount code should you wish to purchase I will leave it on screen here and in the description box below along with any other information and of course a direct link to this product should you wish to shop it and try it out yourself it's also great for me as like a dog mum to be able to just check in on your dog when you're out and about or if in this case I'm inside doing some housework or whatever and he's out and about I can just check on my phone and see what he's up to in the garden. This is how compact the design is. It is really sleek, modern and minimal. This is your little charging cable and then the adapter that the camera fits onto is just this. So this is what you have to attach to the wall with simple screws which again come included within your little package of goodness so thank you to you for very kindly sponsoring today's video and without further ado let's get into sharing with you all of the updates that we have made to date Feel like we're making good progress we have one fully plastered room which feels so refreshing to see honestly just to see all four walls done is yeah it's now my new favorite room and then back through here we have the um plumbers pretty much finishing up the 
Last things they need to do for in the bathrooms, at least on this floor, both the ensuite and the main bath, they still need to start on the top floor. Then through here in the master, we have had the plaster going on the walls, the ceiling, which has got a couple more walls to do, and the bay window. So this is looking good. Not really much more to update in this room other than the spotlights have been cut out and centralized and everything so they are good to go in this room and then on the top floor we've had the walls the stud walls started to be put in which is good because then it's taking a little bit more shape and we can see what it's going to look like so obviously this in here is going to be the en suite to this top floor nice and roomy we've actually moved the um length back quite a bit it was about here but we realized it's going to be quite snug for an ensuite and considering this is probably going to be Tom's bathroom we thought we'd get a full like rectangular tray in here make it more of a walk-in shower a bit nicer for him so we've just moved this back to eat into what will be sort of just a little walk-in area anyway so it doesn't really matter and then this will be the entryway into the eaves storage which again is really spacious we're kind of spoilt for um, storage with this property so this is going to be great for boxing, boxing in the back of the toilet so that's all going to be hidden and the extraction from downstairs as well is all going to be boxed in and hidden within the eaves and then it's just going to be great for like shoe storage suitcases whatever and this opening here will not have a door or anything it'll just kind of open and lead nicely into that room so the door will actually be here this is a wall door into this room here and the dry liners have just been fitting all of the insulation. This insulation, we had a bit of an issue with regards to um, attaching the boards to it. Because of the type of it, it just when you put the drill through to attach it and secure it, it just kind of swiveled up this. It wasn't sticking to it essentially, so we've had to buy some wooden slat type things to put along so that we can drill the boards to this and this is the view from this side of the room of how this is currently looking bit of a mess but it's definitely coming together now up here you can see the layout a bit more and yeah it feels feels good and then the other thing that the plumbers have been working on is fitting all of these waste pipes leading to outside these are from the shower that's the shower that's the sink in the main bath I think that one is actually and then there's oh no that's the shower for the ensuite that's the sink for the main bath that's the sink for the ensuite as well so that's kind of like um eaten into this ceiling space which is absolutely fine because this is so high the ceiling that when we eventually get around to doing this room which will be one of the last jobs after the extension and basement so that we've got a usable kitchen space um then yeah we'll just drop the ceiling slightly and cover that and it'll be fine what are you doing back there? Hunting down spiders, are you? Getting there now, eh? Yeah. It is a such a better finish, though, isn't it? By being making sure the walls are really dead straight. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So update on the garden. We are pretty much there for our temporary fix until we landscape the garden properly in the future once we have done the house. So this is kind of what the gardeners have done. They've leveled out, sifted out all the brick and rubble and for now put it over there. Might be able to use a lot of it for the side extension. And they've just kind of turfed the area here which we need to water every single night or just, you know, as long as it if it's really hot weather then we just need to keep it watered and wait a couple of weeks before we actually use this area and then in the meantime we'll just sweep up and clean up all of this area so that it's nice and tidy and we can get our washing line back out which makes me very happy barney can go back in the garden again we'll get some temporary fencing along the back here but the gardeners are very kindly kind of fenced off with the green um like netting thing that we had when he was a puppy as a little pen they've put it over there where that hole is in that fence and then all of this area is cordoned off where there's any little bits of glass or the brick and the rubble there's also a hole into the next door neighbor's garden over there so that is all secure which makes me very happy so yeah before long we'll be able to actually have this as a usable outdoor space decided to keep a lot of this chopped wood that we can chop down and use for uh, burning in the future when we've got log burner so yeah this is how the garden is currently looking 
this has been really great for storage for us. Updates inside the house, we have the staircase ready to be plastered tomorrow. That's all lined. Then this main bathroom is now all plastered apart from the shower just needs finishing off and boxing in. Um, the niche, little niche has started to be kind of boxed in with all the moisture board in here. And then through here we have my filming room which was the first room to be plastered and complete so that one is as it was before. Plaster they're using. The master through here just needs this wall plastered and the windows have all kind of been box ledged and everything ready to be plastered tomorrow. Everything else is already plastered in this room. This spare room we have all plastered ready to go as well and the ensuite which will be um, because of the tight sizing of it, it's going to have a sliding door. This is pretty much done, we're just going to actually drop the ceiling in here though because you can see there the pipes running from the bathroom upstairs needed to be there so rather than box that in and have like a uneven ceiling because of the height of this room already we're actually just going to drop the ceiling so we're going to put some moisture boards underneath that pipe so that it's just flat all across then up to the top floor it is so nice to see it all plastered this has probably been um the longest job because there was so much to do structurally we had to change things obviously now we have the divide the structure of what the room will be like which is essentially a little kind of hallway area at the top of the stairs into this door here which leads into the room we're going to have switches here moisture boards have started to go up in this ensuite the boards started to go up in here now so it's looking far more like a room and then hopefully soon within a day or two it will be plastered plenty of sockets there because this is actually going to be where tom has a desk and we did have to have a socket moved as well so double socket there is enough and a little internet thing initially we thought about switching over the wardrobes to this side as opposed to the other side and instead we scrapped that because of all the wiring that's already been done it's easier to just keep this side as either a bed from here or here or whatever in future obviously we're not having it as a bedroom maybe a sofa bed but that's it and then um, shelving units here with uh, I think we've got lighting in there if we want to and then this side instead being the one with the boxed in wardrobes so yeah that is what the room looks like from this side and this is the horrible insulation that just seems to get everywhere the washing line is back outside in the garden and whilst we've had some sunnier days this has been a godsend it's been great for me to be able to just catch up on all my washing we also had some extra turf laid we decided to get the gardeners back just so that it's kind of angled off quite nicely leading into the turfed area and then back upstairs inside we had again further plastering done and it all coming together the shower and the main bathroom is now fully done and then upstairs pretty much everywhere has been boarded and the whole structure of the rooms have been sorted we just have the plastering left to do up here i've also been taking this time and taking this opportunity whilst all the builders have been in and I've been spending a lot more time inside to start clearing out. I really want to start tackling the basement as well but first things first all the clothes that I had I've just had a real declutter and donated a load to charity along with reorganizing and re-putting away all my clothes so that I know where everything is and everything now has a home. So I'm making a bit of progress clearing out some clothes and just folding some last bits up to put away. These are basically what I've been living out of these past however many months now. We've got a huge one for underwear which is ridiculous but that is all my underwear, um, socks and everything in there. And then down here we have pyjamas and also like sweatshirts and kind of out of season stuff in there. And then um, these bags here, on the bottom I've got bedding, towels, and then here I've got bottoms, and then I'm going to create another one for the tops. And then I've just got this bag here of stuff that I actually need to try on, see how it fits and whether or not I'm going to get rid of it. This happened whilst I was sat in here, so unfortunately um, the scaffolders accidentally went through the single pane original window. So what we're going to do, obviously we're replacing these in the future anyway, but initially this is our bedroom. So once we're upstairs, it doesn't really matter. 
They have offered to replace it. I'm not really sure what part, what rest of the scaffolding is coming down because we're only partially removing some of it today to allow for roofers and windows to come back and be finished off. And, um, and then it will all be coming down. So anyway, yeah, unfortunately this happened, but these things happen. But yeah, kind of gave me a bit of a fright whilst I was sat there doing, doing my clearing out. This also just gave me the biggest fright. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it or not. Let me see if you can see it. Can you see that movement? That is a huge spider. For space saving as well, this is the sort of technique that I've been using to put the clothes away into the bags. It also allows me to be able to kind of see um, what's what and where and everything is. So for instance, this top pile, I've divided into bodysuits, that's a bodysuit section, a couple of shirts, blouses type tops, and then these tops at the back and underneath are like Vesta, shorter, cropped tops. These are all my basic tees and slightly longer more oversized basic tees as these are as well so I'm just going to pop these in there and then that bag is good to go so I just kind of roll them up and stack them on top of each other the reason why I'm putting these ones at the forefront is because I pretty much wear these sort of tops every single day walking the dog um just because that's a good dog walking outfit just an oversized tee and some cycle shorts so they're on top ready to go because I wear these every single day and then everything else I know where it all is so I'm just going to fold that up stack that on there and then that is my current wardrobe situation not ideal and trust me I cannot wait until we get upstairs into some chest of drawers and some wardrobes I just keep telling myself keep calm and carry on patience is the key We'll get there eventually. It is pretty hot outside today, but I thought I would show you. I don't know why you need to know that, but it is. Maybe justifying the um, dewy look right now. Anyway, I thought I'd share with you some samples that we've got for flooring for the top floor. So we're looking at um, carpeting the stairs, the hallways and the bedrooms and the, like the whole of the first floor. But the top floor, we think we're just gonna do carpet up the stairs into the kind of like little hallway landing area. And then in the actual room, because we've decided to keep the ensuite door open as just like an open walk-in ensuite as opposed to a door because of the angle on the ceiling, it just makes sense. Um, then in order to have like a fluid floor throughout, we've decided to go for some kind of wood, wooden look flooring. So the ones that we've been looking at obviously have to be good for in the bathroom because it's gonna be throughout the whole bathroom, eaves and bedroom space on that top floor. So these ones we picked up from Wooden Floor Store in Cheadle and they are actually engineered wood, these ones. They're quite thick. So we're even thinking these ones may be for throughout all of downstairs. This is the same sample, by the way. They've just given us two planks, which was very kind of them. Um, so we're thinking of this maybe throughout the whole of downstairs when we eventually get around to doing it. As for the top floor, because this is 600 mils, we wanted something a bit thinner and more suitable, obviously, for a bathroom use. So we found this. This is called Long Beach. I don't think it's not got any other information on it but it comes with the underlay already on it and it's very thin so he said it's really good for especially for flooring that's a little bit uneven with us having an old house there's a good chance that rather than needing to level it out to perfection that this kind of just slaps on top quite nicely and slots together so yeah, that's what we're thinking maybe for the top floor. But I have just had these um, arrive from UK Flooring Direct, which is really good because online you can request up to three samples. So I just put in two orders because I got six samples. Um, and um, it's free of charge with no shipping charge or anything like that. The samples themselves are free. So I thought that was really good. And you even get a brochure. So this one here is the Aqualock eight mil laminate flooring in stable oak and there's actually a picture on the back with it in a bathroom so i like the look of that it's the same sort of thickness as the long beach from the other floor store but it's probably a bit too gray that one then we've got this one's a bit lighter this one is herringbone laminate flooring in roma oak eight millimeters this one is that's the details on the back 
and it's making that one look quite yellow. I actually really like this one. It's still got some grain and texture, which I think is really important. So this is the Audacity 12 mil Laminate Flooring Summer Hill Oak. This is a lot thicker and it also doesn't have, oh, it does have the underlay, that blue bit. This one doesn't have the, oh, is that an underlay? No, so this one doesn't have the underlay. What do we think? I still think I prefer that one. Anyway, the other sample box I got, I, I think I got two more, one more laminate sample. Oh, that's too dark, I already know. So this is the eight mil herringbone laminate flooring and gentle gold oak. And it's a bit too dark and warm, I think, in comparison to the others. I also ordered two carpet samples. I wanted to compare them. Let me get the others I've got. So I have these two from Carpet Right, from Country Living in Heartland. They're 100% wool. This one's in barley, this one's in linen. I ruled out linen straight away. So this is the front runner um, for the whole stairs, up, up the stairs and everything. And I just wanted to see the comparison of like the non-wool version. So this is 100% polypropylene and it's definitely more of a hatched loop design here on this one they have said that loop isn't ideal for pets because they can get their claws trapped to be honest with you he's not meant to be going upstairs anyway um but this one obviously it's suitable for pets so these oh this one's okay this one's a lot more plush so there is a strong difference i feel like this one isn't too dissimilar to the temporary one we had put down in this front room that was just like a really cheap option so i feel like i'm not kind of wanting that one because this one has not worn well at all there's already so i mean to be fair we've had a lot of builders walk in and out we've obviously had a new puppy so we've been less precious about ruining it and whereas this is super plush again suitable for pets oh i don't know so let's just compare it to 100% wool they're very different so it's whether or not we want to go for more of a plush carpet that's like comfortable or a heavy duty harder wearing carpet that I actually think I prefer the more natural fibers to the 100% wool and I prefer the look of it I think because you can see that little bit of texture a couple of years ago, I'd have been all for, and I say a couple of years ago, like five years ago, I'd have been all for the plush grey hoover lines. But now I'm swaying more towards the fact that I'm doing beige, black, white, lots of like natural textures, natural fibres. I'm feeling the wool. Let me know your thoughts on what you think I should do. Here's just a little side by side comparison. It's not the best lighting on camera, but you can kind of see that the um, laminate that we've got here versus the engineered wood from the same shop, that this is like more than double the price, super expensive in comparison to this. Thinking this one for upstairs. However, this one that we've got from UK Flooring Direct is more like the engineered wood in colour. So I feel like this might be the winner for the top floor. I do really like this one as well. And I've also just been looking at this Farron Ball brochure for paint. Definitely not set on a certain brand or anything, but I just, um, Tom's mum gave me this. So I thought I'd have a quick look at some of the popular colours that I've heard of. So obviously Skimming Stone is a beautiful colour and that's quite popular. Elephant's Breath is, but it's too grey for me. Even though it's a like warm grey, I feel like there's a bit too much like purpley kind of colour in it. Um, I also really like this one for more of a feature wall or if we go for a half kind of panelled, you know, with a dark colour on the bottom or something. Stony ground, I really like that colour. Um, what else? Drop cloth I know is popular. That's got a bit of green in it, which is definitely uh, something that we're going to incorporate within this house. So... Maybe that could be an option for a, a certain space. A lot of the spaces will just be being painted white and I don't want it to look like cold and clinical. So any good white recommendations as well will be much appreciated. So I just wanted to give one final overview of what the house is currently looking like to kind of end off the renovations for this part of the video. So upstairs, like I mentioned previously, we have everything boarded. We've decided to leave this open gap so that it's more of a walk-in ensuite, which I just think 
allows the flow of the room really nicely rather than having to kind of find a makeshift door that fits with that angled ceiling. Same with the eaves, we're gonna plaster in here, have skirting boards run throughout and just keep the doorway open so that it's nice and easy to get in and out. And then again, leading into the main part of the bedroom, leave it all open and nice and big and airy and spacious, especially as we have limited light up there as well. We just wanna keep things nice nice and bright and open and then the master is now fully plastered ready for the joiner to come in start hanging doors doing skirting boards as is the spare room and the ensuite in here too all ready for the joiner so i'm just in the bathroom and i think we have decided on the tile i've just popped into wilms though with tom and we popped into a flooring company and found this tile these are just sample cuts but the actual tiles themselves are 600 by 600, so quite big, but I really liked the matte and kind of textured without it being too much detail in each tile. This is the actual tile details if you wanted to check it out yourself. So it's porcelain, and the only areas we'll be tiling in the bathroom is the flooring, the upstand, maybe like a sink backsplash there because the taps that we've gone for in this one the brush brass taps actually come out from the wall and then all of the shower unit not the floor actually we have bought a tray for the floor so all of the shower walls and the little niche as well will all be tiled in that continue through from the walls down into the floor here as well i think what we'll end up doing is use this for in here and for uh tiling the ensuite in the other room and then the loft because tom's gonna go for be there a wooden look floor throughout the whole of the top floor he might do some kind of vertical i'll leave an inspo image on screen of what i mean a vertical foresty green colored tile that again i think works really nicely with the brush brass i love it so it'll only be his tile area that is actually tile area his shower area that is actually tiled but anyway yeah samples i feel like are so much fun as well like bringing them all in it's so useful because when you hold them up against different walls, different lighting, they honestly look so different. In store, this tile in particular, I thought was quite light. Then when we moved it to the natural light, it actually looked too, not too dark, but quite dark. Which, because we're going to be painting the walls in here white, I thought would look a really nice contrast against this. So even here on camera, in the natural light, it looks quite light. Um, but yeah, anyway, really love these. Ooh! I'm excited. We've got the Tyler booked in in about 10 days time. So hopefully before long we will have bathrooms that are usable, which will be such a luxury. I'll never take a shower for granted ever again. So that is where we are currently at with the renovation. Like I said, still lots more to do. All the kind of fun, exciting stuff, at least on the top two floors is fast approaching for me anyway the exciting stuff is when it gets down to the nitty gritty of choosing the paints and the interior side of things so i'm really excited to start styling up the rooms and just more than anything have storage up there which is not far fingers crossed and also having a bathroom that is usable is so close within reaching distance i cannot wait so if you want more regular kind of daily updates live in the moment type updates rather than these videos which are filmed over a couple of weeks then you can head over to my instagram homeware account freya farrington home where i post in the moment and i save all my highlights as well so you can look back on them so i can look back on them as well in the future also posted a little update over on Freya Farrington Home as well for my Eufy camera so if you want to check that out just a reminder in the description box I have left a link let me know which camera system you decide to go for from Eufy and I will hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys